V15 PM Screen Current Detection Operation Guide. Please update V15 PM to the latest version V1.02 before operation. And check whether MIP and EDP are updated to the latest versions in the more interface. Pay attention to distinguishing the connection ports corresponding to MIP and EDP models. Take out the screen to be tested and the corresponding screen test FP. C. Buckle the screen test FPC on the corresponding socket of V15PM. Then buckle the screen on the screen test FPC. After lighting up the screen, select the corner and more. You can set the detection standards for backlight, display, and touch flexibly, according to different detection needs, and whether to turn on or off one of the current detection, making sure the consistency of each screen before the delivery. The top 10 screen manufacturers in China are all using it, preventing 100% of the screens with high current. After that, you can also set whether to only prompt the alarm current or to turn off the screen after the alarm. Then let's increase the brightness. Here we can observe whether the backlight, display, and touch currents exceed the set values. When exceeding the set value, a pop-up message will appear, indicating that the current is abnormal. Since we set it as prompt only, the screen will not turn off after the alarm. Now let's set it as turn off screen after alarming. We can see that the screen turned off after the current alarm. 